Okay, so we're kind of middle of the board in terms of what we were doing, but we obviously did help. And the top planes, aside from, well, the FW-198, they're all fighters. Hmm. This is very strange. However, we will keep playing because, well, this is fun, even if I can't figure out exactly what the fuck's going on. But apparently the radar absorbing coating for the IL-2 does actually help, and it is keeping me alive. And also the armoring of the plane in general is quite sufficient. What do we need to do to increase that armor, though? How much do we need? 350,000. All right, I think we can do that. As for everything, as for anything else, I'm not exactly sure. But, well, rocket accuracy could help. But we might... Uh, we will see about this. I suppose just being as tanky as we could possibly be would also just help. Just because. But we'll keep playing, keep gaining money, and see what we can amass. Ah. Okay. In a game fairly quickly, the queue is alive. Okay. Back on the Egypt map. The sands. The and and okay. Forward airstrip over there. Excuse me. And a military base and a garrison in front of us. I think what I'm probably going to do is hit right for the garrison, since that seemed to work pretty well last time. Again... I'm trying to absorb, observe exactly what's doing what in terms of getting our team capture points for a zone, but I think just flying around in the area and doing things just gets it done, and the game kind of decides who gets it. I'm not sure. So we're just going to fly in and break things. That seems like a pretty uh, pretty easy job for a Sermonek, don't you think? Okay, so... Our allies are all above us. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's go. A 30 second boost on this thing. Sit here holding the button down forever. All of our teammates are scattering about in random directions. We got another Sturmovic with us. So we're going to just make best speed towards the garrison because it seems like the most hotly contested map. I'm not exactly sure how many points each these each, each individual points give you, but, uh, well, this seems like the most important one, just on observation. There's a factory over there, but we're gonna try and cut down on the AA. Which goes down pretty quick when you're hosing it down with fucking VYA fire. Okay, so, rockets away! There we go! That's the center point down, but I don't see any, you know, increase in actual capture point tickets. I am being shot at, though. However, I'm busying myself with destroying the ground targets. As they seem to be the most vital thing that we can do. My my rear gunner is very enthusiastically in pursuing the enemy. Oh, hello there. He's dead. Oh, it's our our unfortunate French friend. Let me let me help him out there. He's dead. Haha! <laughs> Always bet on Stormovic. Yes. The Russian bias is still sharp and constant. I hear shots pinging off of me, but I'm concerned about getting shit done. Now you see, again, we're gaining points. That's the ground. But at least we didn't explode instantly. We're gaining points, but I still have absolutely no idea what's determining that. I'm making lots of noise, though, and causing lots of explosions, so I'm going to attribute to it to that. We're winning because I'm causing explosions. It seems like a pretty good I mindset for a Sturmovic pilot to have. Whoa, excuse me. Uh-oh. Ah! 
Ow! That hurts. Whoa, low to the ground here. And now we're losing. See, I still have no idea what the fuck's going on. Get out of here, JU-88. Oh, those aren't gonna hit anything important. Uh-oh. Yeah. There's the Sincac again. Well, he is durable. He is effective at eating ground attack pilots. That seems to be his job. But still, you see, I'm not sure what the fuck's going on. And now they've captured the point entirely. Is it the number of team members in there? I still don't know how this is affecting the outcome of the, like, of who gets the capture point. This needs to be more clearly explained. Because it's kind of making this mystifying rather than entertaining. Because if I knew exactly what I'd be doing, I'd actually be having, well, considerably more fun. There's no, There would be nothing inhibiting the fun that I'm having. Because actually playing the game is entertaining and, well, enjoyable. It's just that I'm not exactly sure how the fuck did I... How to win, aside from killing everyone. Which, in order to do that, I have to be in a fighter. That's the only way... The only surefire way I know how to win. Kill everyone. And uh, fear of the power of the Sturmovik. Yes. The enemy is launching rocket strikes on our complex. Oh, whoa! Try to neutralize the enemy military base. Ah, my stealth coating. And apparently, I have bombs, but no rockets. So here, have some lightweight bombs. Remove! Enjoy that! Uh-oh. Ah! Enemy stomach! Hmm. I seem to be doing effective amounts of damage to him. I have destroyed his engine. Will I kill him? I have no idea, but I'm still hitting him. And now he's out of range. Hmm. It seems like the, the defensive action for a ground attack plane, I'm not exactly sure how they're having trouble hitting me because I'm flying in a straight fucking line. But it seems like the best defensive action for a, a ground attack plane is to shoot out the engines of the enemy. And then... Then you'll just kind of glide out of range. And then re-engage and destroy people like that. This seems to be the best idea or the most effective one. I still have no idea what's effective in this game, but I'm killing people, so I'm assuming that I am, in some general way, effective. Rockets away! Be advised, a line of thunderstorms is approaching. There's someone behind us. Unable to provide support. Do you get low be? here. Over. Ah, that's the Sincac. Ow. We can't stand next to those guys. Or stand in front of those guys. They will just simply tear us apart. So, now we know what the, that plane's really good at. We kind of knew beforehand, but it's, well, an air defense sort of plane. You defend points from enemy fighters who are attempting to do ground attack, but I'm still not sure exactly what kind of... what we're doing here, and how we're affecting the battle here. I suppose capturing the military bases so they shoot missiles at people affects the outcome here. But I'm trying to capture the zones and it's, it's making me believe that I can. But I'm not sure how. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. Okay, well, and if positions are captured by the enemy. The enemy has superiority and our respawning is now fucked. I am the top scoring player on my team. And in the game currently, but we're not going to win. And this is locked for a set amount of time. Okay, well obviously they lock, so I can't damage them, but yeah, that's it. I can't actually do anything. The game's over. You've done what you could. Go back to base. Still not exactly sure what I should be doing here, but it seems like attacking the... Not necessarily the garrison bases, but the... Like the command centers that launch rockets and, you know, like launch bombers and launch 
rockets at the enemy base seems to be the things that you're supposed to capture first. Seems like it. But I'm not exactly sure. This is very confusing. And it's kind of mire it's it's kind of dragging down the experience that would be enjoyable if I knew what the fuck I was doing. But let's take a break from Comrade Sturmovic, shall we? Let's go play the Arabonita and see what we can manage in a very large fighter. Or rather, a very well armed fighter. Hmm. Now, the main selling points of the Era Cobra and the Era Bonita, as it were, is the fact that we do, in fact, have a 37mm nose cannon, which is quite nice. However, um, as for everything else, I'm not exactly sure if this thing actually stacks up. So, we're just going to play it and see what happens. The most, the easiest thing that I can, I can see to do here is literally just kill every enemy that I encounter and the game will somehow go our way. Actually, actually, the enemy can't do anything, so we will win. This is what the game is telling me in terms of fighters. And I will get s dramatically more points being in a fighter than a ground attack plane, which, well, I don't like. Since I like, I, I, I like to think that people who are actually playing the objective, however the fuck you play it, should be rewarded more than people who just go off seeking kills. You should be rewarded for getting kills, because kills affect the battle. However, you should be rewarded more always for playing the objective, because it's the reason that you're there. However, it doesn't seem to be that way currently. It, it seems that the air players can kind of just... Like, the, the actual fighter players can get su way more fucking points than the actual ground attack players can. Purely because they can rack up so many fucking kills. Which... I don't like. But, you know... This game went from unplayable to nice, but with some begrudging issues. So you know what? I'll let it rest for now. But if I'm going to be someone who's going to be, you know, a voice in this game, or attempting to be a voice in this game, um, these are the things that bother me. There are criticisms, so I will give them, because, well, in the hopes of making the game better. Show me what you can do. Otherwise, you're just pointlessly complaining. So let's try and wrestle control of this area by shooting down the AI and then see what the fuck happens. Okay, there are the AI. Let's see what our, uh, see our 37 can manage here as soon as we slight one of these guys up. Uh-oh. Whoa! Well, you can hear it in there, but I'm not actually hitting anybody with it. It's also incredibly hard to actually aim. Oh. Was that my kill? I didn't see it. He kind of just immediately evaporated. I would credit that with the 37. The command center is ours. Okay, that we captured the point by clearing out all of the air point. units in it and standing in it. Okay, that would seem the baseline way of doing it. It doesn't seem like the ground targets really have anything to really do with it at all, but we do have Sturbovix on the ground. So it just seems like a fucking... kind of incomparable team effort to take down all of these bases. So you need everybody doing everything in order to capture the base. But these are locked, and that one's locked, so we have to go to this one. Right? Yeah, basically. That's where all the enemy fighters are as well. So we have to go this way, to this point over here, rather than the airbase that is full of enemy fighters. At least, I try to gain some altitude first. I like how I'm gaining speed with fucking whip in a dramatic way by helicoptering up there, but then again, arcade game, so I'll let it go. It's just kind of comical to have this. This is more arcade than War Thunder Arcade, but it's enjoyable, which is the point. Okay, so we got ourselves a lone... Soviet ground attack plane was being shot to shit right now. I helped. Although, that's a considerable amount of enemy fighters coming at us right now. So I'm just gonna boost the fuck away now. Oh, oh. Somebody get him! It's a heavy fighter, so I think I can dodge him. It's a 
It's a lightning. Okay. Right. Well, the tables have turned, P-38. Seems the gun overheats really quickly. I'm still not sure exactly how effective it is, though, because I can't fucking seem to get a hit with it. We seem to be handling this aerial engagement pretty okay, though. You can hear that fucking thing crackling away in there. It's overheated now. Whoa! Ooh. There's damage in there! I'm just not sure how much! It looks like it's got about maybe 15 points of damage with each individual hit. So, it's got some alpha damage in this thing. Ooh. You see how that jumped up from like 10, 15 to 60 all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how much individual damage this gun does, but it seems like a lot. Which is good because I would expect the Aracobra to be suitably disgustingly overpowered. Or rather, suitably effective, but this is the Aero Bonita. It's slightly different. I'm not exactly sure of the differences, but well... I suppose I'll go for a wiki dive. If I like the plane, I want to learn more about it so that I can be... I can greater live the theatrics associated with said plane. And yeah, he's basically melting. And he's dead. That's what I do in these types of games. Especially, you know, just in general vehicle-based games. Especially historical ones. I pick a plane based on, well, popularity in the game and just general, you know, general looks and effectiveness. And then, then I learn about it. And then, then I live the theatrics. Ow! Fucking Spitfire. But it seems like the 37 is really hard to hit with. So if I get something that increases accuracy, because I can't actually see... Obviously, the 37 would have a different dispersion, but they're all kind of clumped together in one big mess of fire. Because arcade game. I'm not exactly sure if there's something going on in there that I could affect positively with statistic warping. Complete control of the skies. But Way it just go. seems like the 37 does not do all that much damage all that quickly. Or maybe there is some sort of basic leading. I don't know. But let's see here. Yeah, you can't see it. You cannot see the 37 millimeter shell. It's big enough that you would fucking notice in that. In what? These are 50 cals in the nose? You'd notice. But it just seems like the dispersion is just kind of like randomly distributed. So it looks like this thing has kind of a lotto or a slot machine cannon. Whereas, it fires at an enemy, and then, you know, it hits the enemy, and then randomly dice rolls if you get the bonus damage from the 37, which seems like a lot if you manage to do it. Which is, I suppose, fine for an arcade game, but, you know, coming from War Thunder being hyper-realistic and actually having the guns do what the guns do, you know, it's a bit of a change. Be advised, a line of thunderstorms is approaching. We'll soon be unable to provide support. I'll take dice rolls, though. You see that? Wow! He just lost, like, 25% of his health in a single burst. Keep it up. So this thing is a, is, a, is, is a lotto ticket, basically, in ballistics. Hi there! You shouldn't have changed targets like that. Ooh. Well, he's dead. Alright, somebody in front of us or below us or what's going on here? Okay, right here. Spitfire, huh? <laughs> Alright, that's one Spitfire we don't have to worry about for respawning. Okay, right. Maintain aerial superiority. Remove enemy fighters. He just stops existing, but then again, that wasn't my kill. Hmm. Boost is out. It's a... F <laughs> it's a buffalo. 
And now the buffalo is gone. This thing has fairly nice maneuverability up here, though. So at least there's that. I want the kill. It's mine. Ah! Oh, well. What the hell is that? Lion. Awarded for assisting in destroying at least 10 aerial targets in a single battle. Yeah, I was helping. I hit really hard. The accuracy is kind of suspect, but I hit really hard. And yeah, 9,000 damage or combat points. Yeah, I helped there. So let's see where I rack up on the scoreboard. That seemed like we were affecting things, but I have there's nothing. I had nothing to do with the bases that game. Absolutely nothing. I was just flying around shooting things. So, I'm not exactly sure if that actually really does, like, what the actual bases have in relation to winning, aside from, you know, just suppressing the enemy team as hard as you can. Which is kind of boring, honestly, but, uh, well, um, uh, that gun, though. Yeah, top score in the game. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, well, if you want to get yourself a... If you want to get yourself an Aero Bonita or a you know, Sturmovic for 20 bucks right now, there's your seal of approval, really, because that's... That, that That's pretty significant in terms of actual damage points, but again, I still don't know if I how, how exactly I'm affecting the game other than just killing people. So I want to play the objective more, it's just that I have no idea how, and I seem to be more effective at just murdering everyone that I come across. So, and also, we gained a lot of fucking money from that. Jesus! Right. I want visibility, because it's easier to get a hold of. So we're gonna equip this, and then roll out. So, let's see here. Fire extinguisher. I'm still not really sure exactly what's effective here, but it seems like, uh, well, having, you know, being able to repair yourself in the air is a good thing. Okay, reinforced control surfaces. Hmm. I suppose we can win get that to win out, you know, fly out of a dogfight. It's kind of cheesing it, but okay. Ground verification for, well, I suppose, just making sure that we get as much credits as we humanly can. Let's see here. See, we've got rounds for this. So, let's see here. Large caliber weapons, it's a 37. So let's try high explosive out of this and see what it manages. Well, we've got, well, we've got two belts for that. So let's see. Got that. And then let's slap some upgrades on this. Let's see here. This thing, realistically speaking, well, firing accuracy would help because it seems like accuracy is determining when the 37 millimeter shells actually hit the fucking target. So get that. And let's see here. Anything else that we can get a handle on here? We don't seem to have any real problems with fire, even though we say we have low survivability as a negative quality for this plane. As long as we're not getting hit, we're fine. Uh, hmm. Lightweight airframe and control surfaces seem like the best thing that we can manage here, though. Hmm. Since we get 3% maneuverability in all axes, and then, well, this just gives us turns. So obviously, well, you would want this more than this, wouldn't you? So we'll try that, and then we're basically out of money now. So let's see what we can do with the enhanced Aero Bonita. This is still fun, but the, the thing is, I'm trying to think about this in a way that I could actually, you know, figure out how to play the game, like master the game here, be better at the game, but there doesn't seem, I can't figure out exactly what I need to do, aside from just shoot people. This is what I've been saying over and over again. I want to, it's a, it's a thing that the game now wants me to master it. I feel like I want to be good at this game. Ah! Well, shit. Be right back. Attention, you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy. Okay, well, I, I'm apparently here, and apparently I spawned literally inside the combat zone, so apparently I was moving about. But uh, let's get rid of this butte fighter here. Well, now I can see the 37 in there. Be advised, the enemy is concentrating forces near the 
Alright, that's a kill for us. We got a Sturmovic down there. Well, I'm hurting him. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out if this is arc literally full arcade mode where I just have to look at the target or actually I have to guide my shells into the enemy. I don't know if they're simulated or not. I don't know if it's just a graphical effect. I was trying to aim though, but this is a very bad situation that we have here. We've got two enemy fighters coming in on us and we have nowhere to run. Whoa, boy. One of them's a Bufighter, fighter though, so we can probably get away with dodging that. And the Bufighter's fighter's basically just fucking off right now, so we'll take care of the fighter, which is another air wound. Enough. Hi there. Fancy fighting yourself today. Get the fuck back here! I want that kill. And he's dead. Uh oh. Ah! I don't know what the fuck that is, but it hurt. Oh god, it's the Starmovic. Ah! Starmovic, no! Ah! Apparently, I was taken out by the P40. He came in behind me. Ow. I was doing very good, though. I looked over, I had 2,000 points just for killing someone. Like, just for killing, like, two people? I have 3,000. What the fuck is going on here? Why do I have so many points all of a sudden? Just for kills? The game just fucking started and I was AFK for the first 10 seconds. And suddenly I'm the top of my fucking team just because I killed people. What's going on here? Once again, I seem to be selling more Aerobonitas here for Bell. That's, you know, that's a good thing, because if I remember correctly, they weren't actually bought or taken into service. Because, well, people were already tired enough of the Era Cobra. Okay, whoa! Lots of enemy planes! Well, let's do this one at a time. You see, I have no idea if I'm actually hitting it properly. Now I do, because he's dead. Okay, closest aerial target, closest aerial target, that guy. Those two, the fucking the Brothers Grimm here. Hi there! That's the dead zero. Oh, it's the Arab Bonita again. Hi there! Jesus! Yeah, that 37 hits, it really, it's noticeable. But again, I'm pretty sure it's just a dice roll machine, where it's like, yeah, you might get it, yeah, you might get it, I actually got it, and he's all, suddenly he lost a giant chunk of his hit points. However, it's fucking useless against flat guns. Okay, so we are all air all the time. Hi there. You killed me, and I'm not go now I'm going to have my revenge. Apparently I critical damaged him too. Those are them gold rounds. I'm flying a premium plane, firing ple premium ammunition. I am your worst nightmare. It's something I would like removed from the game immediately, because you know what? Fuck that shit. Oh, what? Oh, no! What was I shot down by? Bew fighter? Well, that explains it why I evaporated so damn quickly. Once again, I'm racking up pretty ridiculous amounts of damage here. And, uh, yeah, I am obliterating people in terms of combat points, but we're still losing them. Because I don't know how to win. Almost got us. I, uh, I, and also we're apparently capturing all the points now, some fucking how, but I need to respawn now. We've got the majority of the capture points, and we're apparently taking the airfield as well. Or we're taking the airfield. I don't, it was, maybe, I don't fucking know. Where, where the fight's going on, and we're somehow winning. So I'm just gonna keep shooting at people until they tell me to stop. Seems like a pretty good plan. Yes. 
Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is in fact the the game's almost over, jackasses. I'd like you to stop destroying my base, please. Come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> Goodbye, Bew Fighter. That's terrifying! All of those guys are AI, though, except for one of them. That's AI, that's AI, that's not AI. I'll get the one in the back first. He looks unassuming. And he's also a zero. Hi there! Oh. But apparently we, well, we, we managed to get that out of the way, didn't we? Get a little bit close there. A little close. What do we got here? Flames in the sky. Awarded for destroying an aerial target by setting it on fire. That's the Sturmovic kill, I think. Flying start. Grade 3 fighter and rank 1 in the combat group. Yeah, with 9,000 damage, I'd fucking hope. Jesus Christ, this thing is terrifying. All right, so let's look at the actual results. We get a lot of money. Oh, dear Jesus, look at all that money. But, uh, yeah, um, hmm. So let's see here. We killed seven, seven targets, and then we apparently capture points. Okay, earn capture points by destroying enemy air defense aircraft and enemy aircraft when attacking sectors. So we have to kill, hmm? Destroy enemy aircraft while defending sectors. So capture points. We capture points by destroying the air defense aircraft and the enemy within it. So what do the ground targets do? Now hang on. Well, I'll go back and look at the Sturmovic results and actually compare this. But, uh... Yeah! Yeah, I think the Aero Bonita is pretty fucking good, don't you? Jesus. Okay, so, hang on here. Actually, no, I can't look. go back at the detail because the game crashed before. So I can't actually look at the damn details. Well, shit. 